guess this market lost its mind. This morning, Nucor, the big domestic steelmaker, reports a very solid quarter. Gives an incredibly rosy forecast. And it's not just because of President Trump's steel tariffs, because they haven't even really kicked in yet. And what happens? The stock goes down. These tariffs are going to be incredibly positive for the steel industry. But Nucor's shares are flat since the announcement. And Wall Street doesn't seem to care about this quarter. The company just posted a one-cent earnings beat off a $1.09 basis, higher than expected revenue, up 16% year-over-year. But it's the guidance that has me excited. Nucor says its earnings in the second quarter are, and I'm quoting, expected to increase significantly compared to the first quarter. Steel mill margins and profits in March were, again quoting, by far the strongest in the first quarter, meaning the tariffs may be beginning to work. Work. What more do you need to hear? Look, don't take it from me. Let's t- let's talk to John Ferriola. He's the chairman and CEO of Nucor. Learn more about the quarter and his company's prospects now that our government's finally doing something to level the playing field. Mr. Ferriola, welcome back to Mad Money. Hi, Jim. How are you? All right, John. Now, I want to be sure about something. You gave a rosy forecast. But what happens if our government does not back up the strong talk that it's had that's trying to make it so we have fair trade? Well, it would be extremely disappointing. You know, we need the president to fulfill his commitment. We must not let the date of May 1st slip any further. Frankly, his credibility and the credibility of America is on the line here. So we expect him to do what he has promised to do. We expect him to honor the date of May 1st and install either tariffs or quotas to those countries that haven't been able to negotiate a separate agreement on that date. Do you think that the U.S. economy is strong enough that Nucor can still do terrifically even without these, even though, as you and I both know, there's still a lot of dumping going on? Oh, there's absolutely a lot of dumping going on, Jim. You know, in the first quarter of this year, uh, imports took about 25 percent of the market share in our first quarter. And to your earlier question about can Nucor do well despite what happens with 232, and the answer is absolutely yes. All you need to do is to look back at our performance last year, but particularly in the first quarter when we were operating in an, in an environment in which imports still took 25 percent of the market, we operated at 92 percent capacity utilization. We had a very solid quarter. Uh, just about all of our cylinders of our great company are, are running full steam. We had a good quarter. Our teammates did an outstanding job. John, one of the things that I keep hearing people say, well, you know what? These tariffs, the price of steel is going to shoot up. Now, there is tremendous demand, but there is this notion out there which says that there's going to be a huge shortage. Would there really be a shortage of steel? There's going to be no shortage of steel, Jim. People can get steel. If they want to bring steel in, if they need to bring steel in, they can bring it in. They simply have to pay a fair market price when they bring it in. I like to tell people when they say there's going to be a shortage of steel, I tell them there will be no shortage of steel. Now, there might be a shortage of dumped or illegally traded steel, but there will not be a a shortage of steel. People can get it. They can bring it in. They pay the tariff. They bring it to a market price, and they can use the steel. We visited a plant in Louisiana with you, uh, which had a novel way to be able to make steel. You also have one offshore. Uh, how is that doing now? Because we always thought that that could be an incredibly lucrative plant for Nucor. It's been doing very, very well. We had a great first quarter at that plant. It's our DRI plant. Uh, we faced some challenges when we started up, and we still have some challenges that we're going to have to face down the line. But we've been focusing on the three key elements of a successful plant operation, people, the process, and the equipment. We ran in the first quarter. The first quarter of our DRI plant was the second best quarter in its, in its history in terms of production, in terms of uh, profitability, and uh, in, in terms of uh, operating utilization rates. So shipments were up, production was up, it was, uh, and, and frankly, uh, profitability was up very well in the first quarter. So it's running better. And frankly, it's had a big impact for our company on being able to limit the amount of prime scrap we've had to buy, allowing us to control our scrap costs. All right, John, one last question. You've got a number of projects at work. You've got some tremendous demand. You're, you, you're operating 92 percent. What are the hottest areas for Nucor right now that are going to be really good that you felt so confident about saying that the second quarter is going to be great? Well, probably the the hottest markets that we have, and I I should start by saying, frankly, all of our markets, including our downstream markets, are doing very, very well. Strong backlogs, a good pricing. Uh, But when you look at in terms of our best operating business units right now, I would say it's our 
flat products, uh, plate, sheet products, uh, our long products are a little bit more challenged, but they're doing well. Uh, particularly our structural uh, business is doing very, very well in the first quarter. But what excites me is when I look into the second quarter, what I see in terms of the pricing and demand volumes increasing as we went through the first quarter and continuing into the second quarter, we see a very strong backlog quarter, order entry quarter, and an improvement in our margins in the second quarter. Well, let's leave it at that, John. And I hope the government backs up what they said they're going to do because it's such a great thing to have big manufacturers open new plants and create the lowest cost deal in the world if we just give them a chance. That's John Furrier, Chairman, President, and CEO of Nucor, a company that I have liked literally since it came public. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.